these men certainly don't walk the middle line they either want it from the start to the finish it is the middleweight category that is coming up next in the blue corner a two-time silver medalist at the national championships a bronze medalist at the 2011 national championship from Dynamo Moscow please welcome Maxim Gadizov And in the red corner, it is of course your favorite from the Venkis, Mumbai Fighters, a former national champion, silver medalist at the 2011 national championship from Croatia. Please raise the roof or raise the sky for Sanjin Paul, the interceptor Vergage. That's the individual rankings in the middleweight category. Milano, Sergei Zerevyachenko with three wins at the top. The Kostas Vili of uh, Astana Arlan, Michael Tavares and third place. It is quickly Jason of LA Matadors and Lan Manev of the uh, Mexico City Guerreros in fifth place. Currently, it's Maxim Kazov of the Moscow. And there you see the judges Martin Tadic of Croatia, Frank Shamak, and Michael William Gallagher of Ireland. And in the ring, it's uh, Ishanguli Meritsmiazov of the Turkmenistan. That's the referee for this bout. And just to give you an idea, 26 years of age, Sanjin Paul Vergate of Croatia, who currently ranked 29, lost in his only appearance so far, Sanjin Paul. But uh, so. Maxim Gazizov is ranked number 16, 28 years of age. Maxim Gazizov currently ranked 16, one and one record. His win coming against Mandeep Chandra of India when the Venkis Mumbai fighters were at their away bout in 18th of December. So it's Maxim Gazizov versus Sanjin Paul Burgic in the middleweight category. Both the bouts, both the teams are inside at one no apiece. So everything no to ball. box. Head up, check hand. Good luck. Yes, come on. That is the two men. That's Gazizov in blue shots and it's Virgic in black shots. Can Virgic give Venkis Mumbai fighters the lead? It's going to be quite interesting because Virgic has a lot to prove. Didn't do too well in his only previous appearance for the Venkis Mumbai fighters. He's got to come back and come back strongly because he knows he can do it. He's uh, lost away to in the Astana Arlans bout, a uh, bigger part in the home bout against uh, Astana Arlans to Miras Barkhanov. That was a fifth round knockout. Bajic has got a lot to prove in this arena itself and Gazizov has uh, won against Mandeep Jandra but uh, would like to improve his positioning. Bajic is uh, quite wary of uh, what is coming from the Russian. Gazizov is uh, 
the third Russian to be fielded. Not relying too much in too many foreigners, just one in the light heavyweight category for Dinamo Moscow, while Indians have chosen to field three foreigners. The Indian boxers have given Venkis Mumbai fighters a one and one record as we approach the minute and a half way mark in round number one. Sanjin Paul Fercic still trying to create an opening, showing good footwork. Uh, moving around and not presenting an easy target for Maxim Gazizov. Neither boxer has uh, been able to land enough but Gazizov's aggressive intent may just see him edge through if he manages to keep up the tempo. Tanjan Paul coming back, coming back strongly. Can he connect a couple in the final minute? That's going to be the key. But Fergic has uh, certainly shown that he's uh, got what it takes to fight at this level. Switching stance and then uh, nearly catching uh, Kazizov off guard. Sanjin Paul showing some good uh, footwork. Sanjin Paul remember in black shots and Gazizov in blue shots. Gazizov trying to create the opening with the left. Landed a couple of uh, hopeful rights I would say. Not really damaging but still good enough to score. And Russian may have just landed. At least I think he's landed about three or four uh, to the head of Virgic to claim the north from the judges in round number one. Remember it's a 10 point wins scoring system being followed in the World Series boxing. The winner gets 10 points and the loser at least 9, maybe 8 depending on his performance. That's the Russian Maxim Gazizov. May have just edged through on the judges' cards. Not uh, too tough but uh, Sanjin Paul is showing good uh, footwork, got the movement right, not presenting an easy target for Gazzov, but uh, needs to land a couple more punches than he has done in round number one. That's going to be the key because uh, Gazzov has taken advantage of the few openings that have come for him and uh, if he can continue, there you see one judge has got it for Vergic, but two for Gazizov. So Sanjin Paul has got Time. some catching up to do. Close uh, scoring there. Sanjin Paul makes an aggressive start. Starts with the flurry of lefts coming in close. And, uh, once again, challenging Gazov to try and uh, give chase. Gazov trying to get sneak in that uppercut, but uh, Virgic is quite wary of that one. The left from Gazov, the leading uh, punch has uh, done some damage. Virgic quite keen to avoid that one in close proximity, especially because Gazov keeps. Uh, Landing that one to the head and uh, that will mean a scoring opportunity. Good left from Rugic, uh, but uh, come back strongly from Gazov. Got things uh, changing his stance midway through, but Gazov comes trying to use that upper cap. Not effective enough, but uh, Sanjan Paul. Lands one but hits the glove, makes a terrific noise but doesn't impress the judges too much. That's the problem with landing the punches on the glove. Again that uh, left right not good enough from uh, Virgic and uh, Maxim Gazov giving him uh, must chase around the ring. Virgic moving, moving well, not presenting an easy target for Maxim Gazov. But he's got to start landing punches. That's going to be the key. Gazov has got him a little scared by sneaking in that uh, uppercut from close quarters. So that's uh, something that's making 
Hunt and Paul avoid coming in close. And if he comes in close, he's uh, making sure no, he's got that uh, right uppercut covered. Because Maxim Kazov is uh, trying to come in low to try and sneak in that uppercut. That seems to be his uh, chief uh, destruction weapon. And so far, Rigic has uh, quite uh, smartly managed to avoid that. Bagic uh, weighing his options carefully as we approach the final moments of round number two. Once again, it's a very, very close uh, contest and uh, the Russian probably making sure that he just has that wee bit of an edge. Can Stenton fall up? Well, strong finish. Has the crowd excited? Has he done enough to impress the judges? That's going to be the key. We see action from round number two. Burgic man just may have sneaked through in round number two with that strong finish the final five seconds when he landed a flurry as we approach the third start of the third round remember it's five three minute rounds and uh, that once again it's the same Second one judge round. in favor of Brigitte and Second two in down. favor of Gazov so some three. catching up to do for Time. the Venki's Mumbai fighters it's called for a, the clock to be stopped because of water in the blue corner. <coughs> the referee Box. Merit Niazov of Turkmenistan making sure that the corner is dry and no man slips there. So the beach comes to try and uh, do some real punching. which has got to come in and start doing some real damage now because uh, he's been a little wary moving away too much trying to avoid presenting an easy target to Maxim Gazov but he's got to try and do some hitting himself as well Gazov's left has the Sanjin Paul backing off into the ropes and immediately Sanjin so Paul is uh, in trouble He's no, Brigitte Three. is not able Four. to continue. Five. He has uh, Six. signaled Seven. to the... Eight. Well, he did signal to the coach that he... Come. He's got a bit of a problem there, cut off the come, left come. eye. Doctor. Bleeding from the left eye and immediately Meret Nezov from Turkmenistan summons the ringside doctor to have a look don't think the damage is uh, too much. Oh. The bout will continue. Yeah. Took an elbow there next to the left eye. But Maxim Gazov seems to have uh, seen his opportunity. That standing eight count to Brigitte would have uh, done his... Uh, Chances a lot of uh, damage. Gazov has now got the big advantage going in round number three because the standing eight would uh, certainly Back. have uh, impressed the judges on all three cards. Although on one card it is uh, Brigitte who's uh, leading the card of Judge One. That's uh, Martin Tadic of Croatia. But Judge 2 and Judge 3 have scored steadily in uh, favor of Maxim Gazov. No, no. Not a surprise because Gazov has been the aggressor right from the start. And once again in round 3, it's the same story continuing as Gazov keeps his opponent pegged back, almost uh, trying to 
make sure that the bout ends early. Gazov's got the opening, going for the midriff, the solar plexus, to try and win his opponent. Approaching the final 20 seconds of round number three, and uh, Brigitte did Break. land a combination, but uh, not effectively enough. Round number three, approaching the final seconds, and uh, it is uh, a tough call for Sanjin Paul Vergic because he's uh, been at the receiving end in round number three. There's a bit of a cut below the left eye and uh, Sanjin Paul Vergic seems to be in a spot of bother. The cut above the left eye and below. So he's got some catching up to do. Maxim Gazov has uh, seems to have done enough damage. There you see that uppercut and then wonderful comeback from Gazov as he punched that straight to the head. One, two, and then the, the standing head count has the Sanjin Paul Burgess was in a bit of trouble. And there you see all three judges scoring table of the Russian Although Judge One still has uh, the Benkis Mumbai fighters man in the lead, but uh, all three judges have scored this round in favor of Maxim Gazov, and he certainly is about to lose from here on. Vergic needs a decisive round, and by decisive, I mean he needs uh, to get Gazov very, very firmly in trouble but at the moment it's the Vergic who is himself in trouble Vergic holds the lead in one judges card two judges have scored in favor of Maxim Gazov and uh, Vergic uh, the Mumbai's fighter man needs a very strong round needs a couple of decisive punches to swing about his way otherwise Dinamo Moscow can be sure to take the lead in this five-bout contest of week seven evening and go ahead 2-1 with the light heavy and the heavyweight bouts to follow. We've got another debutante lined up in the light heavyweight bout but uh, Virgic trying to make the most of it. Good view as the boxers uh, move around the ring. Vigic showing good footwork but not enough aggression. That's probably been his undoing in this uh, bout so far. Maxim Gazov has gotten the measure of his man. Vigic uh, wants to come back. Gazov bending far too low break break, break. break. <laughs> guys are trying to throw the left with rather lethal effect and this time connects with the right so Virgic back pedaling not done enough in round four to gain the confidence of any of the judges. No holding. Come in with the no shoulder holding. and immediately the referee holding. wants the men against holding. Vergic, can he come in? He's got to come back and come back rather strong because he is pushed down from the Russian. Final 10 seconds. Sanjan Paul, Burgage. They have just missed the bus oh. in this bout as the bell signals end of round number four. And Sanjan Paul, Burgage of Croatia has not done himself any favors. The cut above the left eye as well as below that. While there you see 
Maxim Gazov quite satisfied with this uh, performance so far. Round number four has also been rather decisive in favor of the Russian. Maxim Gazov making sure of the advantage that he's enjoyed in the first three rounds. Continues in round four as well. Landing punches whenever the opportunity presented itself and without a doubt has proved himself to be the superior boxer. The leading, impeding the progress by. And there you see all three judges have scored in favor of the Russian. So now it's a very, very tough ask for the Becky's Mumbai fighters man to come back from this stage. He needs a clear knockout in round number five to win this one. Tough one for Sanjan Paul. Now can he do the improbable? Because so far his uh, attacking has been rather sporadic. Did impress one judge in the first two rounds, but thereafter it's been downhill for the Croatian. Be nice to see if he can uh, spring a surprise on Maxim Gazov. Doesn't look likely because uh, still waiting for that uh, opening, which Gazov is not looking like willing to oblige. And, uh, Keeping his distance, Maxim Gazov, quite understandably so, because uh, he is ahead on two judges' cards. One judge has uh, got the bout scored evenly at the end of round number four. So that will uh, certainly give the Russian a lot of confidence. But this time, a right connected by the Venkis Mumbai fighters man, Sanjin Paul Vergic of Croatia. And straight time. The gum guard uh, falling down, and uh, immediately head coach Shiv Kumar Paul sending it, giving the boxer back. But Maxim Gazov coming in close, wants to close it down. Don't forget, in the bout against Mandeep Changra, he was a Clear winner after a slow start. Lost the first round but then came back strongly in the next four. Here again he's uh, won the bout on all the judges cards. Looks like Sanjin Paul Vergic may have just left it a bit too late to try and pull off a victory and give Benki's Mumbai fighters the lead. Remember, they are tied at one apiece after two bouts. Gautam Viduri winning the bantam weight, while it was Adlan Abdurashidov who won the lightweight contest. This is the final round of the middleweight bout, and Maxim Gazazov of Russia struck the Dynamo Moscow team poised for a 2-1 lead as we approach the final 20 seconds of the fifth and final round. Gazov nearly walked into a strong right from Sanjin Paul Vergic. Seconds ticking away. Round number five and Vaxin Gazov once again finishing strongly. Sanjin Paul Vergic hasn't done enough And that will give him some lessons because he's got a lot of catching up to do. There you see that uh, blood marks on the face of Maxim Gazov. Quick look at uh, the action from round number five. Maxim Gazov it was who was uh, dominating. Sanjin Paul Vergic tried a desperate bid to come back but uh, it was... Uh, Maximov who, who made the decisive moves and in the end the Russian had probably packed enough to pull off a unanimous verdict as we wait for the announcement of the verdict we got some time before the boxers come back because uh, 
Sanjan Paul Vergich is bleeding from both above and below the left eye. Referee Mirat Nezov of Turkmenistan waiting for the men to come in and formal announcement. Some good camaraderie there. Have the results with me. It's a unanimous decision. Judge 1, 47, 48. Judge 2, 44, 50. Judge 3, 44, 50. And the winner from the blue corner, Maxim Gelikov. There you have it, a unanimous verdict in favor of the Russian and there you see film actress Manisha Lamba watching the action quite uh, excitedly and now we see how the contest is now tilted in favor of the visiting team from Moscow, Dynamo Moscow.